With Future Trunks confirmed to return, the entire Dragon Ball community has been buzzing as to why he is coming back, with many community theories going around surrounding who and what Black Goku or Goku Black is. Joining me here today is MJ, also known as Geekless TV, as we go through one of many community theories involving Black Goku, and today we'll be talking about a very popular topic, that being, is Black Goku or Goku Black? Bardock, or in some way, shape, or form, Timebreaker Bardock. Now, MJ, I want to get your take on this personally because everyone is pointing out that it's Bardock, and um, who was sent back in time by Frieza. So, it, I mean, it has to be him under some sort of mind control or some sort of possession. Now, I, I, I want to know from you: Do you think that Black Goku or Goku Black is indeed actually Bardock? Because personally, for me, I don't think it. I don't think it is um, for many different reasons. One of which being that Future Trunks doesn't live in the past. He lives in the future. So having Bardock going back in time, as it was said when Frieza sent him back in time, just doesn't make any sense because Future Trunks is scheduled to live 20 years into the future. So how would Bardock be alive if he was sent back into the past? So um, I want to get your take on this theory behind Goku Black being Bardock. And if you believe it's possible, because uh, the depiction was that he's very similar looking to Goku and Bardock is very similar looking to Goku because that, that's his dad. So what, what, what's your take on the whole theory? You're right. Uh, you know, first off, thank you for having me, man. I, like, no, no problem, you know, Brody. It's it's always cool for the collab with you, bro. But uh, I mean, it could be him. But you're right. I don't think it is. It the only way it is him, man, is if Mira and Toa are involved, and I don't think they are. Like, I do not believe Toriyama and Toei will bring in these Xenoverse characters. You know, no matter how popular the game was and how popular the characters are, you know, I don't think they're gonna bring them in. So, it's, it's getting real scary though because a lot of these like fanfic character adaptation stories they're kind of being brought back into like a canonized version of Akira's oh yeah because, yes, dude true. it's it's scary so being that you know I, I mean me and you we're just two fans we're fans talking about Dragon Ball and what we believe is going to happen we're not Akira Toyama you're not I'm not so we can't really say because this man can change his mind and say you know what he might wake up and just say you know what I'm going to incorporate Mira and Toa just cuz so it, it, it just it, cause. It, it, yeah, just cause, right? I mean, if it's Bardock, then I personally don't think it'll make that much sense for him to wreak havoc, especially with him having being sent back in time to destroy Lord Child. Um, depending on whether or not you want to count that as canon material, but everybody within the community, I'm, I'm talking about everybody in my videos and other people's videos, they uh, people have just been talking. Oh, it's got to be Bardock because. He was shown in Dragon Ball Heroes, he was shown in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, he was shown in many different adaptations to Dragon Ball, he was sent back in time, he had his own story, it has to be Bardock, he looks like Goku, the, the, the whole the whole like, nine yard with the whole Bardock theory. So, um, going back to what you said about Mira and Toa, right? So even though those are video game characters, um, would, like, do you believe that it would make sense? All right, let's say, for example, if it is Bardock, would it make sense for him to, you know, just go around destroying stuff? Even at that, right? Um... Like, I, I don't think that he would be as strong as Trunks. I'm sorry, but I think Trunks would manhandle him. So, um, by him coming back and telling everyone, listen, there's a person who's stronger than I am, and I'm having a difficult time that looks like Goku, like, I, I it just leaves me to believe that it cannot be, it, it cannot possibly be Bardock. But in, in your opinion, since you're saying that it might not be, why don't you, like, list some reasons as to why not? Because some people will actually list some reasons as to why he is, but I want you to break down to the community and, and let them know why you personally believe it's not Bardock. Well, for one thing, to counter your argument, because I know people are going to bring it up in the comment section, he actually, if we're talking about Mira and Toa and Bardock, and this is Timebreaker Bardock, bro, Bardock murders Trunks. I've never seen really? the I've never seen the clip, but Timebreaker Bardock, the one with the mask, supposedly he can one-shot Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Okay, whoa, one shot whoa, whoa. Him. Really? No way. No way. No there, there's, way. there's supposedly there's a clip in those Dragon Ball Heroes intro. I'm not too sure. I've seen a whole bunch of people talk about it. It's he, Time Breaker Bardock. He can one shot uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then there's a scene where he goes SSJ3 on top of his base. I forgot to mention that it was in his base where he one shots Super yeah, Saiyan 4 Gogeta. No, no, I know, he does like, that. I, I saw him transform into a Super Saiyan 3 after his mask broke, but I've I've ne I've never seen him one shot. All right. If, if what you're saying is true, even though it's non-canon, it, it's all, you know, video game adaptation. Yeah. Like, if if that's supposedly true, man, that's, that. first of all, that's scary, right? If for him being in his base form doing that. Number two, like, just having that imaginational thought to where you have to just sit there and envision this dude in his base form annihilating Gogeta in, in just one shot. Now, 
I again, it, it just it just seems way out there because Gogeta, bro, is Gogeta. He is one of the strongest characters I think <laughs> ever designed you, in Dragon Ball. Period. I don't think anybody can refute that. Um, but let's say he does return. Let's say hypothetically speaking, he it, it is him. Why? Why him? Why is he destroying stuff? Like why is he doing this? Why why is he going about wreaking havoc? I mean, is it because he is under the influence and possessed, or maybe even controlled, or if he's not controlled, what what in the world would be his purpose? Because he wasn't really a bad guy, I guess you could say, prior to him fighting Frieza and stuff. I mean, he was a he was somewhat of a mercenary. He was doing his own thing. Yeah, he was killing people. I get that. Um, but by no means was he craving mass genocide, and was he uh, one of those characters to like literally blow up entire civilizations? But let's say it is him, uh, whether he's controlled or not. What would be his motives? Like, why would he even do this to begin with? Well, the big thing here is, and I, this, I guess I should have answered this on <laughs> the second question you gave me instead of going into the whole Gogeta right, hero fine. thing. I, I'm just mind blown by what you said. It's, uh, well, there, there are reasons why I don't see them bringing him in because, for one, it would... People are have been speculating since that special, which is non-canon, that Bardock special when he goes back in time, that he is the first Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, and oh no, I that doubt goes, that. Yeah, that goes against what Vegeta said. How a millennia ago there was a guy who was so strong that he blew. So why would he's not the first Super Saiyan? So if he's not the first Super Saiyan, why would? And let's just say Mira and To are the ones who bring him in because that's the only way he can come in. How would he learn how to time travel? That's the only way he he would come in is if. Mirror into where we're like, hey, we need to go kidnap the very first Super Saiyan. Well, that already proves a plot hole because he's not the first Super Saiyan. Why would they get bring him? And then secondly, it's like, I mean, if they bring him in, that means they're can uh, what the, what would be the word canonizing or they're making some stuff in Dragon Ball Heroes canon. You know, we're bringing in the whole Mirror and so uh, the whole uh, mass thing, Timebreaker Bardock, and then of course Bardock himself from that special saying that he was a Saiyan, a Super Saiyan long ago. You know, so. They would be. I don't think they would can, uh, canonize canonize that stuff. They would. I don't think they would make that canon. At least those are just some reasons I could think of off the top of my head why they wouldn't bring him in. But I mean, if he were to come in, the only thing I could think of is maybe he's being controlled. Because maybe he's not Mirren. So I believe uh, who said this? I watched a video on it. Black and Fist uh, one. He had mentioned that. Um, he thinks Black Goku might just be the puppet of some sorts, and there's a bigger threat out there. You know, he, and he said that because I believe of the whole involvement of the Kaioshins and then the Omni King, that there must be someone out there controlling Black Goku, which we, we would find out later once the Future Trunks arcs gets rolling, you know? The, the one thing I'm not really digging here is the fact that I, I'm not too fond of seeing someone uh, stronger than Hit come about so early. Um, I yeah. love Hit. I, yo, I love Hit so much. He's one of my favorite characters, only because... He's one of those, like, he's one of the very few that goes in there, does not give a shit, he just wants to fight, and he wants to kill, but he can't because of the rules, I mean, at that time at least, but, uh, again, going back to Bardock, if, if he were adapted in here, um, it, let, let's say Bardock was the one doing all this, I, number one, I yeah. doubt that he would do this on, on his own will, because yeah. I feel as if he's changed over a period of time, so I don't think that he wants to initiate this mass. He would have to be controlled. Yeah, exactly, would... exactly. So I, I agree. I think that um, if in fact he does come back and he does do all these things, he is being controlled by someone or something. But then fans are gonna say, "Wait a minute! Well, if if you put two and two together, the people that were controlling him and before, like in the other versions and stuff in the games or whatever, are Mira and Toa." So. Having them debut, I again, I don't think it's gonna happen. I really highly doubt that that's even gonna, you know, be a fruition. But if it is them, then again, it's just like it, it wouldn't make any sense. But there were several things that I pointed out in my uh, my breakdown video when I pointed out that Trunks from Xenoverse had a similar sweater uh, to what Trunks was wearing when he came back. That was very interesting because uh, underneath his jacket oh, yeah. in Xenoverse, he had yeah. a green sweater that looked exactly the same as the one that he was wearing when he came back. So coincidence, maybe. Um, but in terms of Bardock here, man, like, for you, for you to even tell me that he one-shotted Gogeta during Dragon Ball Heroes, that, that is... We're gonna look up this clip afterwards. I've never looked it up. I've just no, taken I, I, a I'm, word I'm, on I'm, it. I'm, I'm gonna do my homework and definitely look that up because that, that's scary. I, like, Gogeta, like, uh, Super Saiyan, for, that, that's mind-blowing. But, uh, Bardock, I mean, people have been talking. I don't think, I, I mean, if, if it is Bardock, I will eat my shoes. Even though I promised to eat my shoes when I found out Monaco was weak, but still... 
I, that, that's how confident I am. I, it cannot be Bardock. I, it can't. It just can't be. Even though he may look like him, and people, especially with, with what Trunks said, um, it, it looks and it feels like Goku in a way. It, that could mean one of many, many things. Um, but then again, for for it to be the father of Bardock. Uh, the father of Goku, excuse me. I mean, that would be really cool, right? If Goku encountered Bardock and, like, they kind of had yeah. a, a war of words. It's like, like, you're supposed to be my dad? Like, what, what's going on here? Like, that would be really cool to see father versus son. Um, which, again, I really doubt that will happen. But um, I, I, I really doubt this 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 theory is even going to be coming into fruition. Because, um, as you said, it, it has to be under somewhat of a mind control like tactic because there's no way Bardock would do this on his own. Then again, some people might refute that. They might go against what I say. They might say, "Well, Bardock was a mercenary and he might go back to his roots if he was, you know, brainwashed enough." Because we saw what we we saw what someone like um, Bibbity and Bobbity were able to do to other people. Uh, they were controlling people via, you know, hypnosis and just getting into their minds and whatever. So, uh, yeah. is is Bardock prone to that? We don't know because we don't we don't know what the hell's in his time. We don't, we don't even know if Bobbity's still around at that time. Oh, can you, oh God, can you imagine? Can you imagine, imagine that for Bardock. a second? Fucking Bardock is there and Bobbity's controlling him? Jesus <laughs> Christ. I, I like, there, there are a lot of theories here. Um, but leave your thoughts down below, guys. If you guys, if you guys firmly stand on the fact that it is Bardock, comment down below and let us know why. If you guys feel differently, again, comment down below. Um, this will be part one of three. So tune in for the next two parts of this community theory. We'll, we'll actually be discussing uh, a possible clone in the second video and if it's possibly Turles or Zycord in the third video. So if you guys are enjoying this, you guys might want to go ahead and tune in for the next two. Uh, thank you, Mr. MJ. Go ahead and check him out, guys, at Geekless TV. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Once again, if you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed. Tune in for more, and me and MJ will be seeing you guys in part two. Take it easy, guys.